What's up everyone? Welcome back to another Stronghold Crusader video. This is going to be a bit interesting. Um, I'm going to teach you guys how to edit AIs and or um, create them from scratch I guess basically. And what you're going to need is uh, what's called this AIV Editor C. Um, and with it is going to come in this module here called Village. Um, and what you want to do, um, depending if you want to edit and or basically create a new one, you can just launch it. Uh, but if you want to edit, you want to come over to this Villagers file and drop some of the AIV files from your game folder into here. Um, for this, we are going to be doing a Sultan example. So I will come to my um, AIV file and we will go to Sultan here and we will click well that's Saladin Sultan where are you buddy um, Sultan right here and we will drop and click and drag that over into this file here once that's open we can open this and your computer is going to go wonky as can be uh, let me confirm that I'm actually recording that I don't know if I can alright I can <laughs> um, and this will allow you to create a new village or load an existing so we can uh, load let's say a Richard castle here um, and of course um, we want to zoom out and this is what his castle basically looks like in the editor if you want to zoom in you can see specifically what everyone is I do not know why my scroll is ridiculously fast but it is but for this, we are going to be messing around with Sultan. So as you can see here, um, I created a Sultan castle basically from scratch. It's uh, extremely poorly made. Uh, I did this in about 10 minutes. So let's not get too mad at me about how bad this castle is. Um, and basically how this works is when you load in a new village or an existing village, you have these buttons up here. And this is their build order. So you can see um, Sultan's going to spawn in with just his keep. And the first thing he's going to build is a gatehouse. This front gatehouse. You know, obviously you would want them to build a granary or a market first. But no. And then a tower. And then another tower. And it seems like he's going to do all his outer walls in this build order um, before anything else. Finally, he adds in some stockpiles. Um, no granary yet. He's still building out his walls. But yeah, um, the way to get to these different resources are here. So you have walls, um, high wall, low wall, you have castles. Um, this is all your towers, your keep, uh, mercenary posts, um, stuff like that. Um, your gatehouses, uh, we got to figure out which way they face. Um, weapons and troops, this is your armory, barracks, tanner, you know, all that, all that good stuff. Your industry buildings, of course, woodcutters, uh, your miscellaneous. Uh, this is actually where you will get all the... Um, troops that you want to place so if we zoom in see around here I have little little troop placements this is for um, Arabian uh, bowmen and I believe you only get six or seven of these placements um, and then um, slingers are rockmen or the SLR so you kind of just got to play around and figure out with what each of them mean but yes this is what those are obviously um, as is assassin um, swordsmen are the swordsmen slaves you know, Pike Expo. Some of them are um, pretty easy to figure out, but not always. Um, you have moats and pitch, um, as well as food, stuff like that. Uh, don't actually ever place down any food uh, because that'll be, except for, you know, you want your granaries um, and maybe uh, windmills, bakeries, inns, breweries, you know, stuff like that. But don't place down any apple forms because um, that stuff changes based on map. Your town. Um, your good stuff and then your your bad stuff right so you have your village save your village of course um, leave your village exit and then your village will show up in villagers as a dot AIV file once that's done just uh, click and drag it back into your game files under the AIV section uh, now the next part of editing an AI is um, to edit their AI AIC file and the way I do that and I'm sure there's better ways to do this but I go to where I have the official uh, Crusader patch thing um, downloaded and then um, I'll go into this AIC file here 
and I will usually this vanilla JSON one um, is kind of the one I've been messing around with as you can see it has a different date than all the rest uh, because I I mean it's 2023 that's the one I I tend to mess around with so when you open it um, I have an app called Atom that I use it's gonna open up a massive JSON file uh, this is for all AI characters um, anything underneath that and it will basically go through um, everything you would want but the way I kind of find what I want in this massive file is I'll just search the Lord's name and there should be um, three finds for him um, so this is his personality we can see uh, what kind of farms he would get labeled here this is where you would label your farms uh, your taxes highest popular lowest popular wall decoration this is kind of the nitty nitty gritty details you know this Corey's uh, resource rebuild delay max food as well as uh, what resources they would sell when they would sell them stuff like that the, the blacksmith settings um, as well as how many troops they're setting to raid, what are they raiding with, um, other stuff like that, um, their units defensively, um, their units offensively, um, their siege, everything, yeah, um, the percentage that they would buy unit for raiding, defending, um, and or attacking, all that good stuff. So from that, We'll see we can find all there should be another Sultan entry here um, There should be one where he talks about his farms um, So this one is a Pretty default JSON depending on which one you open they all look a little bit different um, There's some that have the the like um, if you would open so let's close this if you would open, you know, the Xander Alpha one, and we would search around for Sultan, uh, it might have differences in it. See this, so this one is, his farms and stuff are up here, along with his uh, cell resources, and kind of exactly how that works. But um, you would still see some of the same stuff. Um, down here below but I usually just use the vanilla one um, as that one that one works best for me at least that's that's the one I've one, been using so once once that's done <laughs> you'd basically come back here run the application install your AIC file that you want installed um, that'll also replace um, all the AIV files with the ones that they have here um, in their resources so you should actually wait or you can place your AIV file directly in here and have it installed that way um, or you can wait and then just replace it um, into this file after you have the AIC set up. Cool, so that's done. We have our AIV file edited and our AIC. I didn't actually edit the AIC file at all but naturally you would want to launch your game and test out your uh, your new AI, I guess. Um, so I guess for simplicity's sake, we're gonna give them a ton of starting gold, and we'll have Sultan versus Rat. Always a great one. Our brother Strife, and let's load into this game and see if Sultan builds our castle that we defined in a horrible build order, no less. Um, as you can see, <laughs> no granary, uh, but a house though. That's just great. I'm really glad he's buying houses. Uh, but you won't get any farms. You didn't have any farms to find under that farm area. Um, as as we do see here, uh, he's getting wrecked <laughs> by rat. So this is what happens when you give a lord a bad build order. Um, it it will backfire on you. Um, as you can see here, now he starts to push out. I'm interested to see if he can recover from this. Because once he actually gets going, I feel like it's not horrible. There he goes. I mean, he's got the ins, the double ins, of no less, and a ton of rockmen. Out and about, another attack here coming in from him. He's got some archers now. A lot of rockmen up top. 
Um, now able to hold his own. Good for him. I'm able to push out here. I'm able to get plenty of money from that in. He's got some um, inner defensive, uh, poorly looking towers, if I do say so myself. But you know, it's a Sultan castle that's never been seen before. Um, if that helps or makes any kind of difference here. Uh, plus four, of course, for our boy Sultan. So the rats' uh, troops are coming in. Hey, Sultan's on the attack. <laughs> um, as we just kind of watch his eco flow, he's got nice archers in his tall towers. Um, of course, you, you can change how many archers go into these. Uh, and, you know, it basically comes down to how much you provision in their defensive versus attacking troops. Um, a lot of um, Sultan's troops immediately just go towards attacking, and then he launches an attack. Versus you can make him extremely defensive, kind of like a caliph, and just sit and wait. And that would also work. I mean, tore that apart though. But no farms. No farms were defined in the AIC file. So if you wanted to give him farms, you can give him like apple farms, I guess. Uh, but he usually just buys food. I think he should be getting plus eight from these ale houses anyway. Uh, but yes, a, a much stronger lord here. You can also turn up um, his like troop buying speed. So he buys it every second, so there's no delay. But I mean, he is getting pretty pretty massive here. Those two ends definitely help out that, that troop flow a lot for him. You know, after that horrible build order. Basically, you build an AI like you would build yourself. You know, it's granary, stockpile first. Uh, they'll do all the farms and the woodcutting and stuff themselves into that AI, AIC file. That's that's where that comes in. Um, so don't worry about those. And then obviously, you know, put up some walling and also put down some weapons, weaponsmith and stuff. The way I would design a castle is to go into like a single player castle builder and build it um, how you would actually in game. You know, but you know, maybe with some presets because you know where everything's gonna go. So you can make the castle extremely beautiful and functional without, you know, having to like speculate on where buildings could potentially go based on walling um, because you'll already know. But yeah, that is essentially how you edit a stronghold crusader lord and or create a new one um, in the most simplest of terms. Uh, I know you guys got a lot of good ideas, and I've been wanting this video for a little bit. So uh, go build some lords, enjoy, send them to me. Uh, I always like seeing everyone's ideas. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.